In addition to creating a custom compliance standard, I can further customize that standard by creating custom policies and associating those with that new standard. And I do that by going to the Secure tab. In this case, since I want to create a new policy, I'm going to click on Plus New. I'm going to give that new policy a name. And I'm going to select a severity level, medium in this case. I could add an optional description and a label as well, but we'll click Next here. This is where I define how the policy is going to behave. I do this through what is called RQL. We haven't really introduced RQL in this course yet. We'll be doing that in the next module. So for now, uh, just go with me on this. and We're going to go ahead and cut and paste an RQL query uh, into this field here. And as I mentioned, this is going to define what this policy is, the way this policy is going to uh, operate against the resources in your cloud environments. So once I've cut and pasted an existing policy expression uh, or RQL expression in place, I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And now I can associate that with my new custom compliance standard. I can select the requirement and the section that I'm interested in, and I can save that. I do have the option to configure remediation uh, as I create this new policy, but we'll hold off on that until a later part of the course as well. So I'll just go ahead and save this new uh, policy that I've created that is now currently associated with my custom compliance standard. Now that I've completed the configuration of my custom policy and associated that policy with my custom standard that I created earlier, any further reporting or any subsequent reports that I generate We'll include updated information on the status of the resources being monitored by that policy.